Hey, what's up? David here with After VFX, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing another tutorial on the mirror dimensions from Doctor Strange or Spider Man No Way Home. And uh, the setup here is the actual reality inside the mirror dimension. So, we got these obscure buildings, we got some distortion happening. Yeah, it's just got one crazy geometry world here. Now this particular scene was from Doctor Strange, uh, the movie, uh, produced in 2016 or released in 2016, sorry. And uh, yeah, I just saw it and I was like, give it a go, see what happens. And uh, I mean, like, it's not bad. I mean, like, it's not, not the most photorealistic, I'll admit, but uh, yeah, it's the just a fun experiment that uh, I tried. Anyway, enough from me, uh, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. So don't worry, if you don't understand any of the techniques that I've used, I'll provide the project file and you can go ahead and download it. Now, I will say you will need Element 3D and video co-pilots are uh, city metro pack if you don't unfortunately you will get black screens and yeah i've used also particular as well for atmos so if you don't have that i'm sorry to say this as well you're going to get black screen as well but uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope you learned something new um yeah let's get straight into it so i'm just going to hide all of this except for the camera Okay, so let's get started. So I've got this uh, crazy building set up that was just used with a bunch of buildings and stuff like that. So I'll just actually show it to you how I set this up. So basically, I've just got a bunch of buildings and all it is is just rotated and just like set aside. So you can see here, it's just like a bunch of buildings rotated, positioned in a, like a cube formation. And like that. So it's got pretty straightforward. And then I use the rotation tool just to rotate it on a specific axis. I added in some lights and the HDR is this one here, the default blur, which should be in here somewhere. Here we go. Yeah, default blur. So yeah, that's a very simple setup. And then the way I created this like um, replication is using the particle replicator. So it took a lot of experimentation, just the way I wanted to look so I think these were my these were my values here so a 40 and I set it to sphere and if you don't know what that means you can just like set it to different types of uh, I guess shapes to for how you want your particle replicator to um, explode but uh, this is fine for me uh, I didn't turn on shadows with this because he was going to be in the background so and there was a uh, depth of field so you're not going to see it as much and it will slow down our oh, speed up sorry render time so that's how i uh, accomplished this and then i used like a luma mat inverted to create like depth uh within the scene so if i just solo this so you can see it's just a replication of the back uh buildings and then I use that as a luma mat for my cloud background image so that it fades off as it. So if you have a look at this. So if I just maybe play the expansion here, just turn this to quarter res so that we get fast real time changes. So we can see here how it's uh, changing the depth here. And you can feather it out as much as you want, but. Uh, I left it like this because these were my values. My feather was quite high, so yeah, I really want that uh, soft uh, depth. 
And then, yeah, that took a, quite a while to set up. And the reason why it took a while, because I didn't realize that my position mat had to be the same, the position for your um, buildings. So if you ever have trouble with the mat, just make sure the position is always correct. That way your composite and Z depth will look better. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, the output was just the composite. Uh, oh, wall, wall position, sorry. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it for the background. So, and then I added a center building here just to get uh, covered up a little bit. It's pretty much the same as the background buildings. I may have just played around with the lighting a little bit and the rotation as well, just to give it a little bit more uh, diverse look so that it doesn't look the same. And then I added some atmosphere if you want to have a look at it. Just trap coat particular and then I just further and it's just like a very simple setup I've done this numerous times in tutorials if you want to look back I suggest you look back at my uh, plane tutorial uh, my fog tutorial that was my first tutorial on the channel so yeah you want to have a look at that pretty straightforward setup uh, I just made this particles really big and then the size I gave it a size random and opacity low and then set it to screen. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So that's what I did for the atmosphere. And I added a right building so that uh, just to give it a little bit, just give it a composition look. Uh, again, I rotated it again because it looked different. So that was very important. I've got my main center building here. Now this is important because this is where all your attention is going to be drawn to. So I really want this building to look really, really good. So I did obviously made some changes to this. So I don't know what changes I did because I did so many. But um, yeah, maybe just make sure it looked good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so that was that. And I added another atmosphere just on top of these buildings. So... That this atmosphere is behind these two main buildings and this atmosphere was in front of these two buildings so yeah that's important because I did want to get a little bit of atmosphere look uh, between uh, the buildings so that I looked like I had a bit of depth into it instead of being one single uh, like flat image I guess so yeah and then I got my first parallel light if you look on um, the top view, you can see here where my parallel light is shining. It's just shining this way. My camera is pointing this way. So I've got light shining here. I might move the camera light a little bit and just tilt it. Okay. So that was my first light. My second light was from this angle, and it's just to show, give it a little, make it a little bit lit on this side so that obviously you don't get super dark areas, stuff like that. I might actually just set this to 75. Okay. And I've got a nice ambient light just to make everything well lit. And I might set this to 55. Okay. Alright, so I just made sure that my buildings were well lit. In addition for my buildings to be well lit, I also rotated the HDR or the environment so that as the buildings move, the reflections will be different. So let me show you what I did. So if I just select my main buildings, hit U, you can see that I've rotated the, um, not only the particle, uh, the actual building rotation, but I also rotated the environment as well so that we get nice reflection uh, look. So if you have a look at this, uh, can't really see it, but let me just do a quick preview to show you what I mean. Okay, let me just show you how the reflection works. 
So you can see how the reflection is just like changing over time so that um, when uh, it rotates in the mirror dimension, the reflection will change as well. So that's just a nice uh, little detail that I added in there. But other than that, uh, let's move on. And the next thing I did was add a displacement. Because if you go in back to the Doctor Strange tutorials, you can see how all the buildings were distorted and stuff like that. So I really wanted to make sure that I had that in place. So that was that. Uh, so what I have here is a bulge effect here. And all it is is just... Well, it's just a bulge effect. And I added some turbulent displacement so that we get a little bit of that distortion happening in the mirror dimension. Okay, and these were my values. You don't have to do them the same as me. Um, you can just try and change it up if your scene's different. I added an expression here so that you got time 30 uh, so that we got evolution here. Oh, if you want to um, open up the expression, just hit U double time, uh, two times, sorry, so U, U, U for umbrella, and then that will uh, open it up. I've got a flare here. Just to give it a, I don't know, I just thought it was a little too dim. So I just gave it a little bit of flare with a little bit of an orange tone for the sunlight. I might actually desaturate that even more. So that we get nice uh, flares happening. And to cover all this, the edges, I added this building layer that I rendered in Blender. So let's go into Blender and have a look at this setup here. Okay, so here we are in Blender. And as you can see, it's really nothing much. If I go into my camera view, oh, let me turn on my screen keys. So you can have a look at my what I'm pressing. So all it is, is just like two separate buildings. And then they're just like really just flat so that the camera can have a look at it. Uh, I think the camera, I changed my camera settings to 15 millimeters for the focal length so that I get a little bit of a wider look to this. Uh, what else did I do? Let's go into my material settings here and have a look at this. So my, my material for my buildings here was a black uh, plastic material look. I'll leave a link for where you could download uh, the uh, material so that you can have a look at it yourself. So I've got plastic and then I just added some color correction to the diffuse texture, roughness, um, normal displacement, all very standard stuff. So nothing to worry about. Um, let's have a look at this. What else can we? So, if you go into my world settings, uh, I use the Canary Wharf uh, HDR. I'll leave a link where you can download that as well, so that you can have a go with it. And with the rotations for the uh, HDR, I made it so that we, when you rotate it, you get different kinds of reflections, and that's important so that um, when you're actually looking through it, you can see how it looks. Uh, when it, as the buildings turn, the reflection will turn as well. So if I have a look at this, uh, I'll turn off transparent so that you can have a look at what it is I'm looking at. So you can see here, it's just rotating so that we can get nice HDR look. Okay, uh, maybe I'll render a still frame in this so you can have a better look. So just give me one minute. Okay, so there we go with the materials. I fixed up the materials. Yeah, I just had to reload it. So yeah, that's basically it for the reflection. And you can see how we got a bit of a highlight here and then you can just make sure we get that rotation happening with the, uh, with the uh, building. Okay, so just to ha get that building look. Let's just have a look at this. I just made sure that my uh, specular was on half and then my roughness 
was down to zero. Everything was pretty much zero except for Sheen, Tin, and Specular. That's how I got the reflective look. So that's pretty much it for the buildings. And just to, in case you didn't know how to uh, make it dedicate to this specific area, go into edit mode and then just like select the faces and then hit assign with the materials uh, highlight. So if you wanted this like that and then so you, you can see how it's like reflected and if you select these two and select that and hit assign, that'll help. So it took a bit of time to do that, so it's not hard, it just takes a bit of time, that's all. Okay, um, just turn on transparent once more. Uh, if you go into your compositing tabs, I really didn't do much. I just made sure that alpha was on and glare was on. And that was it. Other than that, guys, rendered this bad boy out and uh, you got yourself a uh, building setup. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's go back into After Effects and finish the rest of the composite. Okay, so here we are back in After Effects and you can see here I've got my rendered layer with all the reflections uh, turning as well. And uh, just to finish off this color correction, I added a vignette just to darken the edges here so we can get our uh, eyes drawn to this area and add some color correction and that's pretty much it these were my I took a bit of time to experiment what kind of vibe I was looking for for the color correction I noticed in the original shot uh, that it was a bit more vibrant it was a bit more the lighting was so much better but uh, I think element 3d has it's just uh, has its limits for lighting uh, stuff like that I think a 3D program would have been better to, if I was to do this, but uh, I couldn't do it. So unfortunately, I did. I couldn't export these buildings in. It was just too much of a pain. Then UV unwrapping, the texturing. Yeah, I can't do that, guys. I'm sorry. And for the camera, just added some depth of field here so that we get nice depth of field to these two buildings. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoy. I know I said this, but I know this doesn't look like the most photorealistic uh, scene uh, from the original movie, but uh, I just wanted to have a go at the effect and just see what I can do, see what I can't do, and where I need to improve upon. But uh, other than that, guys, my name's David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.